Hello everybody, after finalizing the uh, different elements here, uh, including the transitions and set up the, the transition flag here for the each of the animation and uh, uh, doing all that, we have to continue with the scripting for this uh, animation. So as we did before, we created here a menu container and we attached the script to it. So if you go here to the main container, make sure that you attach the main container here inside the anim. After that, you have to go to the menu controller, and we have two uh, functions that we tested before. So I have to go to the script here. We have a show dialog, and we have the hide dialog. So here, I need to uh, call the first animation. So in order to call to call the first animation, we have to use the animator that uh, have uh, uh, that has the animation. So here, as you can see, we have the animation and here you can see uh, this animator is the control, main controller of the animators. So here, as you can see, the animator got uh, three animations. All right, so we have to um, toggle between this animation according to our transition here. So here is true, here is false, and here is false. All right, so right now, if you click the uh, click play. Uh, you, you gonna notice that we go from entry directly to the no animation state so we're just gonna uh, be here at this at this state so once I click on the true flag so once we turn this to true you can see I'm just gonna show the dialog here once I turn it back to false I'm just gonna move the dialog to the no animation state so but we we're not gonna do this from here from the editor we just gonna do this through the script so here uh, we attach a reference to the animator, so here I can go and say animator. That we have the we have something called set bool, and once it's set bool here, we we can uh, you know just uh, set the 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 bool that we have, which is uh, slide the menu slide slide the menu, and here I can turn this to true or false. So I'm just gonna give it a value of true first and after that I need to give this a value of false so right now you go play and you go here you click play all right you click here we just toggled in the dialog Oh, the menu container and you can see it's working correctly we click here just hide it and this is really awesome I just want to add another cool thing here called overlay so most of the time when you work with uh, many years we have something called overlay so you can add the overlay uh, inside your canvas directly by going here create a new UI panel and you can control the color of it for example and you can control the obesity of it to be something like that and put it here and just gonna put this overlay at the beginning of or just before the menu container so I just gonna name this as over overlay all right overlay panel you can name it whatever name you want all right Okay, and I need to turn this on once we uh, just show the dialog. So uh, here we need to make it stretched, and also here I make I need to make it stretched, and I need to go scene here, and just to go to the tool here and just try to make it something like that. All right. So yeah, this is the overlay panel. I need to use this and trigger this in code. So when I start the game, it's just going to be disabled. But when I uh, show up the dialog, it's just going to turn it on. So in order to achieve this, we have to go to the script. And we have to do something here. We have to make a public game object. All right, let's say overlay, something like that. All right. Anything you want. 
I'm not sure the spelling is correct, but <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, I have to come here and when I slide the menu, I need to turn this on. So I'm just gonna come here and say overlay sit active to true. To true. Okay, here I'm just gonna toggle this. So I'm just gonna sit active to false. All right, so make sure that you disable this in the editing mode, and we're just going to run it inside the uh, script. So you go here, the menu container, we have, we save the script, so we should got a reference to it, yeah. Here, we have an overlay, so we have to copy this here. So why I did this, uh, not using find object by name, because... Uh, when you want to uh, do find object or game object to find the, the game object to find gonna find every active object in the scene so in order to get uh, the object whether it's active or not we have to uh, get a reference inside the code so that's why I created this game object here and, and created here uh, an overlay to it and it created a reference here inside the code find gaming object not all the time work so uh, initially when you start the game and you try to find an object which is not active it's not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be found so all the time make sure that you have a reference here inside the script of the uh, game object once it's deactivated so right now I can go here and click play All right, so I can click in the menu, and can see we got a really nice overlay. I can click here, and I can hide the overlay. So yeah, this is really awesome, guys. You can feel it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much, guys, about uh, this section. I try to uh, simplify the things for you, uh, give you a quick tips about the different UI components. Trust me, this is one of the greatest implementation here on uh, the web about the unity ui and it's just a great part of this course uh thank you guys uh, for watching this uh section and uh, see you in the next video thank you guys for watching again don't forget to leave us a great review about the course and uh send us your feedback i uh, will be um you know very very optimistic to hear from you and again i'm just gonna thank everybody who participating in this course asking questions and i would love to see your work here in the course thank you guys again for watching see you in the next lesson